Hello and welcome to Adfield Environmental. My name is Derek Carr, I'm the Operations Director and today the purpose of the video is to give you the differences between the MP range of machines and the C range of machines. Here we have the C100. Uh, we have two machines in the C range, the C100 and the C200. The 100 and 200 refers to the burn rate of the machine. So the C100 is 100 kilograms an hour. So with this machine, first of all, you'll notice the size. You can see how big the machine is when we uh, put in comparison to an MP machine. This machine is specifically designed for high volumes of plastic. Because it has a bigger chamber, it allows for lower density, higher energy waste to be put into the chamber. With it being higher energy waste, we don't need so much energy from underneath the floor as it's already a fuel. So at the front, we've got a big, large opening door. On this one, it's a manual loading and manual de-ashing. There is other variants where you can have bin tippers and ram loaders that can be added onto the system. On the control panel, each burner will have a number. So for example, this would be burner one, the other end will burner two, burner three, burner four. And these all refer to the main chamber burning. Okay, I've just walked out of a C100 machine. The purpose for that is to just give you an idea of the size of the unit. In comparison to the MP range, which is a hot hearth unit with heat underneath the floor, this is a direct incineration. It's for more general medical waste, high in plastics. We need a bigger volume chamber. So the C100 is a three meter cube chamber, whereas the C200 is 4.3 meter cubed. One benefit with having uh, a system like this as well and being round, eliminates any cold spots. It gives nice circulation of energy inside the chamber and it also discourages overloading. With it being a front loading machine also, ergonomically it's easier to, uh, to load the chamber. So now we have the MP range. Uh, in particular, this is the MP200. Why is the MP range different to the C range? Well, really it's designed more for high moisture waste. So typically it was designed for pathological waste. This has three burners and three chambers, whereas the C100 traditionally has a chamber for the waste and the after chamber, where this has one for the waste, one for the after chamber, and a chamber underneath the floor to ensure that any of this high moisture waste is being treated from the below up. Where the confusion comes in with clients is where it has the like an MP200, the 200 is referring to the amount of waste that can be treated in a day. Typically you'll find that it could have a chamber volume of 100 of 0.6 meter cubed, and then you can go to an MP500, that will be one meter cubed. So you'll find that the sizes don't change too dramatically. Again, it still has a front opening and it can have the options of having automatic loaders, but this only becomes applicable when it's the MP500. It's more designed for a smaller hospital, a clinic, where you can open the door, pop your waste inside uh, the chamber, and it will carry on with its cycle. As you'll see, as a box format, by the time it gets to your client, you just add your chimney. So on-site uh, installation is more simpler, where you see 100, because it's larger, they're made into components which you have to add on on-site. So you add the after chamber on, then you add the chimney stacks on, and because it's mainly concrete, there will be a drying out schedule on the unit. With the MP, because it's mainly brick, operation to get it installed and operational for the user, you normally find it can be up and running within one, two days. Again, the MP machine, like the C100, has viewports at the front, so you can see what's happening inside the chamber at any one time. All of the Adfield machines have a touch screen and they have data logging as standard, so it allows us then to look at the performance of the machine and how it's reacting with the type of waste that's inside the unit. Well, thank you for joining us today. Just a quick recap then. The key things to remember is the CE100 is designed more for plastic waste. So it's low density, uh, high energy. So it's got a big chamber inside there. Whereas the MP machine is designed for more low energy, high moisture. So it's got a smaller chamber where there's heat underneath the floor and above. The C100, there's air distributed throughout because it's more high energy waste. So it doesn't need to have a cooling effect. It's encouraging that faster burn. Both of the machines can have additional filtration systems, which include Venturi scrubber systems. If you do have any further questions or you would like to come to the factory and view the machines yourself, you're more than welcome. But to find more information, follow us on adfield.com. Thank you.